In the late 1920s, a man by the name of Philo Farnsworth made history when he made the first function of all-electronic pickup in his device, Dr. Gunn. In 1928, the Barrett Television Developed Company achieved the first ever transatlantic television transmission. In the early 1950s, the FCC adopted the RCA compatible program. In the mid-1950s, the first color TV were sold. They were originally 15 inches, but later that year, they were 19 inches. In the mid-50s, the first TV remote was made, and they called it Lazy Bones. It had a wire connected to the TV, but the first wireless remote was made by Eugene Pauly. Fast forward, after 1996, we now have internet TV with app games and wireless TV remote controllers. Back in 1983, approximately over 50 corporations controlled the news media in the U.S. Over time, that number has decreased tremendously, leaving only six to dominate the media we see on TV. These powerful corporations are Time Warner, Walt Disney, Viacom, Rupert Murdoch's News Corp, and CBS Corporation, and NBC's Universal, the Big Six. Television make a large portion of their money from on-air advertising and fees from third parties for content retransmission. Advertisement can range from $475,000 to $500,000 to be aired on a popular television program. During the Super Bowl, advertising pricing skyrockets over $3.5 million for a spot on your big screen. Cable networks provide content to distributors including cable te telecommunications and satellite operations. They also make money by selling airtime. The FCC Federal Communications Commission is responsible for regulating all communications in the United States. The Communications Act of 19, 1394 sets of basic requirements that television corporations must abide by to ensure the effectiveness of the network. Television has been the number one consumer technology before the computer age. To this day, some may say that television is still the powerhouse of the entertainment realm. Nowadays, television is something most of us carry around in our pockets. With Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, and all other streaming apps, we can watch TV anywhere we go. It is interesting to see how 20 years ago, the television was a huge box of technology with antennas, and now we can easily download an app on our mobile devices to watch TV. Technology in general has facilitated a lot of things for us, and watching TV has never been easier. Streaming TV has also become very popular in the younger crowd because it is less expensive than paying for cable. Or so they think. In the long run, all of these streaming services are going to have low fees of $8 to $10. But if you have a lot of streaming services, you might end up paying the same or even more than what you would pay for for cable television. Television is just another business. These companies will try to give the best deals that will sell to the public. The increase of cable television is causing higher demand for TV streaming. The irony that this poses is that we stayed away from cable bundles because of its high prices, but now while we pay for more subscriptions to these streaming outlets, we are bundling all of these together again for an equal price.